Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me today for another Inspiration Friday. So you can see my backdrop is a little bit different today. It is absolutely beautiful in the Pacific Northwest. The sun is out and the sky is blue and I decided to come out on my patio and my backyard to enjoy some of the sunshine. Now let me tell you, today's project kind of coincides with my patio a little bit. We are going to be making these cute koozies. So I'm not sure if you can see it with the sunshine there. These are just absolutely darling. Now I do have one, a video that I put together using regular HTV, but this is using the infusible ink. Found a website that I can pick up material to do lots of stuff with infusible ink. So this koozie was just one example. So I am going to link all the supplies down below so you guys know where to get the stuff. And I just really hope you like this project. Now, if you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I really hope you like this project. And make sure you subscribe. And if you click on the bell, YouTube will alert you each time I have a new video. I try to post a video every Friday. We call it Inspiration Friday. My whole goal is to inspire people to want to create. So I really hope you like this. Um, tutorial on using infusible ink and making these cute koozies. So give me a second. I get, need to get my camera angle changed. I'm going to join you back in my craft room and we are going to make these koozies. Okay, crafters, I've got a great project for you today. Now, I discovered a website and I'm going to share the link with you down below, but it has all kinds of blanks that you can use with Cricut's infusible ink. And so this is a koozie blank that I did. Um, and so it actually starts out like this. You do the design that you're going to put on it and then you just need to sew it together. Really easy. So it's just so, so fun to find different things that you can do with the infusible ink and not just, you know, the t-shirts and, and the bags and stuff. Um, I, they also have coasters. I've done mugs from them. So, but I'll definitely share this link down below for you guys. So what you need for this project, of course, is um, one of the blanks. Now this is... Um, foam on one side and a polyester um, on the other side. You definitely need your design and I've already weeded out one of the designs um, and we're going to walk through weeding um, this one because you guys know that infusible ink weeds a little bit differently than your normal vinyl. Of course you're going to want your easy press. Now my I have the original easy press and it's not normally you don't use it for infusible ink but I have found settings to work so I'll make sure I share that setting with you and then of course you're also going to want um, some butcher paper so let's go ahead and get started on this project oh it's of course your um, easy press mat also is what you're going to need so let's go ahead and get started now as a reminder whenever you're dealing with um, the infusible ink, I always like to trim mine as close as I can to the same. And then I call it the crack method. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny. But remember with infusible ink, you crack it away. So I always find where I can get a start of a letter um, or the image, whatever you guys might have on there. And then again, you guys just want to take this very carefully. It weeds really nice, but just make sure that your letters are staying on and just work it. Once you get that start, it goes pretty fast. And then I always double check and make sure all my letters are coming off. And you can see how nicely that, um, that weeded for me there. And I can pull up around my ends there. And you just want to make sure that your the letters that you want on there are staying down. So you can definitely see see how nice that that we did for me. And then of course I can come down with the and, and I'm just working it this way. I really don't even need to peel it again. I peeled it that first time, and now I'm just going to work through. So go slow, definitely. And as you do it, 
you will see that we get it all weeded out, okay? So now my little guys there, normally I would use my pin pin, but in this case, I am just very carefully popping them out. So I'm letting it pop out and letting it peel. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys, okay? So there, we've got that one all weeded. So let's go ahead and set our designs off to the side for a minute. And let's prep our, our koozie that we've got. Now, keep in mind when you sew this, this is gonna be like this, right? So we're gonna do this side, then we'll turn around and we'll do this side, okay? So the very first thing you guys always remember you do whenever you're using infusible ink is with the lint brush. And so I'm just gonna clean off it with the lint brush. I am going to put my design down I'm just kind of, I like to just eyeball it. I'm just going to put that down. I'm going to put my butcher paper on top. Now I have my Easy Press 1 set at 360 for 60 seconds. If I had a 2, I would set it at 400 degrees for 30 seconds. The one nice thing about the site that I'm going to share with you is each product that they sell, they give instructions and the heat settings for all of their product. And so I sometimes what I'll do is if I buy product from them, I'll print off the, the product information and just have it tucked away with my supply. But in this case, I just went ahead this morning and went out to their site and was able to um, check on it. So we're at about 30 seconds right now. So I am going to fast forward through this and we'll get to um, revealing our design. Okay, always lift straight up when you're dealing with infusible ink. I'm going to take off my butcher paper and I'm very carefully, now this is very warm, I'm very carefully going to peel back and reveal our design. And remember you guys how nice infusible ink is, it's not going to peel off. I love it, absolutely love it. Now let's go ahead and flip it over and let's do our second one. Same steps, whoops, same steps. I said that, but did you guys notice I missed a step? I did not do my thing up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. I'm going to put my butcher paper on and I'm going to do it again. Okay, time's up. I'm going to lift it up just like before. Put my butcher paper off to the side and very carefully reveal. And there we are. So now the only other step I need to do is I'm going to face these guys right sides together and I'm going to take them over to my sewing machine and I am just going to put a very close seam right down the middle. I'll show you on this one. I can turn this one inside out and you guys can see that I've just got a very close seam there. So that's all you need to do to finish these off. So let me go do that real quick. I'll be back and we'll be set. Okay, so I just got back from my sewing machine and I just put a very thin stitch. Now, you guys, I didn't use a zigzag. I just used a straight stitch going down there. Really easy to do. And then I'm just going to turn this inside out. And there we have it. Now I've got a set of two koozies with this cute little saying on it. Ready to go sit out on my patio and enjoy my koozies with a refreshing drink. So I hope you like this um, tutorial on using infusible ink and I will definitely share with you the website that I've been getting my blanks from. So thanks so much for joining me for another Inspiration Friday.